What I wanted to show you today on the CircuitPython Parsec is how to scan the I squared C bus for devices, particularly the device addresses. So when you're using these Stemma QT plug and play or other I squared C devices, uh, they all have an I squared C address associated with them. And sometimes you might not know what that is. Sometimes it's written on the board, sometimes it's not. Sometimes a complex set of jumpers have been uh, updated to give it a particular address. If you just want to ask it, just want to say, hey, Secret Python, just go tell me what do I have on this uh, thing, you can do it uh, pretty easily. So, first, let me show you a little demo. I'm going to turn on my Pi Gamer right here. And you can see here when I turn this on, it says I squared C address is found. And then it's just found one of them. So it's 18, uh, 19, OX19. That is the onboard accelerometer, I believe, that's on the Pi Gamer. So essentially, I have nothing plugged into uh, to my extra Stemma slot there. So what I'm going to do is I'll turn that back off. You always want to turn off your microcontroller before plugging in I squared C things. So I'm going to go and plug in a rotary encoder here. And now with that plugged in, when I turn this on, First thing it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and scan that bus, and now it finds two things. So it's added to that. Now we have this address uh, OX38. So that is the rotary encoder there. Uh, the way this works is pretty simple. In code, you can see here uh, I have the board being imported, board library, setting up I squared C, uh, locking the I squared C bus, and then this is the key here. I'm just in this one fell swoop. I'm printing I squared C addresses found formatting the uh, device address to be a hex uh, that we can read, print, print the hex uh, in the print statement. And then the device addresses is the list of I squared C dot scan. So I squared C dot scan is the key here. It goes and it checks for any devices on your I squared C bus. So if I want, I can go ahead and turn this off and add one more device here. I'll add another display. And you can see I'm not actually doing any, anything in code with these yet, but I just need to know their addresses so that I'll be able to set them up. So with these two extra devices plugged in here, I'll turn this on. And now it reads that we have addresses 19, 38, and 3D. And that is how you can scan the I squared C bus inside of CircuitPython. And that's your CircuitPython Parsec. <laughs>